What about your first thought that something was coming through your fingers when you hit the keys? I don't know. I really thought about it that way. Um, the story that I was told is that um, after I was born, I cried all the time. And they just knew I was sick, and they were taking me back to the doctor, and he gave me all this medicine. They said I had uh, heart conditions and all this stuff, and all just the medicine and the medicine, until someone said they saw me crying and looking at the piano. And then they put me up there on the piano stool, and I placed my hands on the keys, and I stopped crying. And um, so it's just something I wanted, you know. And um, I just enjoyed playing all day, all night. You know, I get up in the morning playing until they tell me go to go to bed. Like one the next morning, I would, you know, I would take breaks and go do things. But you know, I would come back and play, off and on all day, you know. And as I got older, I just sat there and sometimes just played more and more, you know. And and um, it was um, like one one person I was playing with said that they could say, "God, you started playing when you were two. Well, that's your first language, even before mm-hmm. English, mm-hmm. you know." Um, I was because that music is a language. Yeah, yeah it is a language and science, and it was putting those things together. Sorry, putting those. Um, um, you know, um, thoughts together, musical thoughts together, before even putting words together. I'd say, wow, I really never thought about it that way. So um, it is a pure blessing, and um, it's, I, well, I use it for everything. It's my, my part of my breath, and, and it's like Miranda said, it's our makeup, it's, it's, a, it's our DNA, it's, it's a part of that. Um, um, just like water and nutrition and everything else, um, is we we need we need to do this, mm-hmm. and we're blessed when we do it, and we're blessed by it, and it's meditation, prayer, centering, all those things. <laughs>